We are gonna shoot aluminum plate. This one is about two and a half inches thick. And before I shoot this, I will leave a link in the description for Demolition Ranch. He shot the aluminum cube, I, I think. It was uh, seven inches thick. And when he shot it, the bullet didn't completely go through. It went inside and I couldn't really see how deep of a hole it made inside. And um, I figured I'll make a different one. So in this one, it's two and a half inches thick. It's, the bullet should come out, I think. And if it does, we'll be able to see the exit on the other side, entry and the exit. So I figured it'll be a kind of cool video. And of course, since he shot it with multiple calibers, I'll skip all those calibers. And uh, we'll just stick to the 50 BMG. I'll do a APIT, API, black tip and the spot around and for the first round i'm gonna do the spot around the yellow or uh, yeah yellow and red tip we are hot fire in the hole That kind of ricocheted, I should have had my helmet on. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Let's go see what happens. By the way, I've mentioned this in the last video, but these are the new ear pros I'm using from Walkers. I like them a lot so far. No complaints. All right. Uh, it made this thing go about 10 feet or so. It's about half an inch deep hole in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. Okay. So that was the spotter round. It's not supposed to be a good uh, penetrating round. It's just to hit a target so you can see where you're hitting. But it put a pretty good sized hole on it. Okay, this is what happened to the wood. It's all blacked out and there's uh, pieces of that jacket probably all over this wood. We'll put the same location like that. Okay, let's go. Okay, so for this next round, I'm gonna do the silver tip. This is armor piercing incendiary. We are hot. Okay. Fire in the hole. We are clear! Oh, look at all that smoke over there. Oh boy! Okay, so I shot at almost the same area where I shot the uh, spot around. It's almost like it went over it, or a little bit, I guess half an inch to the right. So there's that. You can see part of the jacket embedded inside. It created a little crater in the surface. And there's a straight hole coming right out from the back. So it went inside a two and a half inch and had no problem coming out. And that's the exit on that one. Okay, and you can kind of see the rifling inside this hole. I don't know if you guys can tell from over there, if it's focused. Well, I don't know if it'll come out straight, but I can see the rifling from that bullet, which is kind of cool. So let's shoot it with the black tip. The black tip is non incendiary. So let's see what happens if we aim it a little bit different area. If it'll create a crater like that or not. So let's find out what happens if we shoot the black tip. Let's go. You're hot. I'm gonna point a little bit top left. Fire in a hole. Clear. 
Okay, so this is what happened. This was that first shot. You see how it created a little crater inside and then that's when the incendiary went off and then the bullet went straight forward. Now, on this armor piercing one, the black tip, there was no crater. It just created the hole. And if you look here, you can see a little mountain looking volcano <laughs> coming out. Oh, that's cool. And there's your, and this is the API. So there's that. And it went straight through. And this is the back side. There it is. All right. And that was the armor piercing incendiary one coming out. So big difference between the API and then the armor piercing AP round. One makes a straight hole, the other one does some damage on the surface and then goes straight forward. So the API kind of has a better round, I guess, sometimes. You see more damage on the surface. Ugh. All right. Round I haven't shot yet, and that's the Army Piercing Incendiary Tracer. And we might get the same results as the uh, API. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to place it like this on the thinner side and see what happens. Let me put it this way. Okay, now we're going to shoot it on the thinner side. Hopefully I don't miss. Don't worry, if I miss, I'll shoot it again. I usually don't miss. <laughs> Let's get back there and shoot it. We are hot. It's tilted a little bit to the... Okay, here we go. It was a little on the angle. It would have... Still is an angle. Okay, now we are good, I think. Uh, okay, we're good enough. It'll work. Okay! <clears throat> Here we go. Fire in a hole. Clear. I told you guys I don't miss. <laughs> See if it made the same crater as it did with this armor piercing incendiary one. This red tip is just uh, it's got a tracer compound on the back of it so you can see where it's going. Someday maybe I'll shoot it at night time. It did go on an angle and I think this was kind of my fault because I could still see it was still tilted a little bit to the right so when I shot it the plate wasn't super straight and I wasn't uh, straight with the plate so it kind of made it curve to the left uh, I cut myself these things are super sharp and it came out right from there from the side right over there went in it curved to the left or right or whatever and came out okay all right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.